What's going on everybody? It's your boy Romilly Weeklax back with Eightfold Fitness and today we're talking about fasted cardio and fasted weightlifting. Are they superior to fed cardio and fed weightlifting? Let's find out. <laughs> And if you are new to the channel, I am a vegan-based bodybuilder. I'm trying to spread the word out there that it is possible to gain incredible muscle on a vegan diet. So if you are new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button down below. And if you learned something new from this video, be sure to leave a like. All right, guys, first I'm gonna talk about the idea behind fasted cardio and fasted weightlifting, why people seem to think this is superior or if it is superior, and then we're gonna go into some studies that show if it actually works or if it doesn't, and then I'm gonna give you my personal anecdote because I actually did fasted weightlifting for a couple months over the summer. So the idea behind fasted exercise is that you're actually going to be using fat for energy instead of the glucose from carbohydrates. So people think that since you're using the fat for energy, you're going to burn more of it. So let's take a look at this first study that took 12 healthy young females and had them perform aerobic exercise fasted versus non-fasted. And they concluded in this one that both groups showed a significant loss of weight and fat mass from baseline, but no significant between group differences were noted in any outcome measure. So for the ladies out there, fasted cardio might not be for you and the same could go for guys. But let's push the negativity aside right now and look at a more positive one on fasted weight training where they took 34 males and these males were on an intermittent fasting protocol where they were fasting for 16 hours of the day and had an eight hour eating window. And when they weight trained fasted, the results suggested that their program, which all their calories were consumed in the eight hour window, in conjunction with resistance training could improve some health related biomarkers, decrease fat mass, and maintain muscle mass. And now let's take a look at a journal where they studied the effects of breakfast on physically active males. And they concluded that following lunch, the most positive energy balance was observed in breakfast consumption and then rest and least positive in exercise without breakfast. So we can see here in this study that exercise without breakfast could mess up your energy levels for the day. So it seems like the research with fasted cardio and fasted weightlifting is a little skewed. I think a lot of people have success with it and a lot of people don't. Ultimately, it comes down to how you feel while you do it. According to these studies, does fasted cardio really give you that extra benefit for fat loss? Uh, that's debatable. I would personally say no. And for fasted weightlifting, we did see some positive results with it, but in turn, you could also see your lifts not being as good in that workout because you haven't had anything to eat before, so you don't have the same type of energy throughout your workout. So personally, what do I believe? I think that fasted cardio and fasted weightlifting aren't that great. If you're really really not hungry in the morning when you're fasted, then maybe it's okay to do some fasted cardio or fasted weightlifting, but it's not really gonna produce that big of a difference or any difference at all. And now I'm gonna give you my personal anecdote of fasted weight training and intermittent fasting in general. I actually did intermittent fasting for a very long time and I did fasted weight training for a couple months over the summer just to boost it or so I thought. And it went all right. I think intermittent fasting can be a great, great way to lose weight. That is why intermittent fasting has all these benefits and that's why people praise it so much. 
is because it gives you so little time to eat. You have this eight hour eating window and then you fast for 16 hours. That's why people are losing so much weight with intermittent fasting because they have such little time to eat their calories throughout the day. And in turn, that's gonna have you burn more calories than you consume and you'll lose weight like I've said in other videos with your total daily energy expenditure. It's the amount of calories you burn throughout the day. That is what's going to determine if you lose or gain weight. So intermittent fasting, great way to restrict your calories. Also in my fasted states in the morning, after about a few weeks of doing intermittent fasting, I did feel my energy levels a little bit increased and I felt a little more focused. I had more mental energy in that fasted state, but it does take some time to get used to that. And then fasted weight training. It really depended on the day, guys. Some days when I got some good sleep, I felt super focused in the morning. I was hitting great PRs with fasted weight training, but then other days being at the gym fasted, just all I could think about was food and eating and getting home to eat. So I couldn't really focus on my workout and hit the PRs like I wanted to. So again, fasted cardio, fasted exercise in general is really up in the air, it really depends on your body. Is it the holy grail of losing weight with exercise? I would say no, guys. If you're trying to lose weight, just doing cardio and weightlifting in general is good enough. You don't have to force yourself to go fasted and feel like crap the whole time you're doing it. So I would say try it out for yourself for a couple weeks, see the results, see how you feel during it if you really just feel awful during it and you feel tired and dizzy, I would just quit it altogether. But if you're seeing some results from it, if you feel more energized afterwards, then just keep on doing it If as long as you're seeing those results, guys. But don't force yourself to do this. Just listen to your body and you'll know if it's good for you or not. After observing these studies, it's really hard to have a concrete conclusion on this. I think it ultimately comes down to how you feel. So that's gonna end this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you learned something from it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day.